Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. We are in the 18th episode of the series and today we have Rahul here with us who has been recently placed at Baker Hughes as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us today. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. All BTEC students belonging to CSC, IT and the circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Rahul and understand his experience interviewing with Baker Hughes. Congratulations on your placement. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, so thank you so much for uh, inviting me over here. Um, uh, hi, I'm Rahul Gandhi. Uh, I come from a small town, Radnangao, from the state Chhattisgarh. Okay. Uh, I did my schooling up to class 10 over there. then i did shift to hyderabad for my 11th and 12th and currently i'm pursuing my btech degree in computer science uh, and that's in chennai so i'm from vit chennai okay. apart from my academics i am good in chess and cricket okay. and that's all i've been doing after placement <laughs> okay that's great and yeah thank you for that uh, you can now tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of Yeah, so uh, I got I got an internship from Baker Hughes. Uh, right now, it is an it is an internship for okay. six months, okay. and then it would be converted to full time offer. Mm-hmm. So uh, the process was uh, of five rounds. Initially, we uh, there there were people who could register. There was a CGP of six barrier who could okay. register. Okay. But then a short listing came after PPT, mm-hmm. which is placement talk, uh, up to a certain CGPA. and then those people were uh, able to give the first round okay which was the higher view round digital interview okay five question ai based uh, hr kind of questions okay that were given to us online for 15 20 minutes okay and then we need to answer in that it is a very uh, very basic thing that higher view does so baker use use the higher view portal for that okay then after doing that uh, there was a second round so in the second round it was mcqs so there were almost 50% people shortlisted from this okay um so around 600 people were uh, shortlisted for giving the digital interview round okay and then um, only 300 were uh, given the next round okay. which was the second one mcq round hmm. so in the mcq round it was uh, a microsoft uh, form which has to be filled in 30 minutes okay 30 odd mcqs hmm basic mcqs which were aptitude based uh, four subjects that we do hmm. that that questions were there in the form of mcqs uh did that uh, out of that again 50% were shortlisted so around 100 people were there okay for uh, 100 or people were there for the uh, next round third round okay. now the third round was group discussion and uh, so nothing else was told so okay. what was told was after this mcq round uh, the next day would be all interviews Okay. That is what was being told. But now, on the hindsight, I know that there were three rounds after this. So mm-hmm. the group discussion, and then the tech interview, and find uh, finally the project manager interview would be there. Okay. So the okay. So the third round was this uh, group discussion, where around every group had ten people. On uh, a common topic was been given day to day. Whatever has been there in the tech world going on, hmm. that thing was given, and hmm. then you need to speak about it, conclude about it, and all of it was there. Hmm. So that was the this third round. After that, we ah uh-huh, so after that uh, there was no clarity. Hmm. So I didn't know whether I would go to the next round or not, or is the next round going to be the next one hour or a day later? No one told us that. Hmm. So within 15 minutes, luckily I I was very I was being impatient. Okay. So within 15 minutes, I got a mail that hmm. I would be giving the tech round. Hmm. So lucky enough for me, many people got it very later. So hmm. yeah, it was okay. like that. Okay. So the next round, the fourth round was the tech round. Hmm. Um, based upon the whatever the location and the uh, position that we chose, based upon that the uh, panel was there, and we need to give the technical interview. Okay. Uh, after the technical interview, again after 15 minutes, I got a mail to join the project manager interview, hmm. and it was smooth. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. And got selected from there. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Congratulations once again. And in the technical rounds, was there it was it more based on coding or was it more based on your resume? What yeah. So 
so since baker use is a energy based Correct. company hmm. so they were giving a role of ai ml developer okay 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 so my interview was based upon situational uh, situational uh, things where ai or ml can be used okay. from whatever basic i have learned okay and how could i build upon that hmm. to give a solution for the company so that okay. were the questions mostly based upon Okay. Also, the the fifth round, which was the project manager round, hmm. was not a normal HR interview round. Hmm. It was again a in, an interview where your technical skills were tested. Okay. Like how were you using your technical skills in day to day life, hmm. and how would you imply that in okay. the company as well? Okay. Okay. So that is how. It so basically, it was like kind of application based kind of thing, like where they'll be yes, giving yes, you a situation and asking you what you will do, kind of that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay that's great congratulations again and do you have any suggestions that you want to share for your juniors or for people who have not been placed yet that you have learned from your experience see uh, people would have given many technical uh, you know right. suggestions or experiences mm-hmm. that they have on this platform and many other platforms uh, what i would like to tell would be some mindset based things mm-hmm. that help me may not help others sure. but usually does help people mm-hmm. so Uh, firstly you should always have to make sure that you start mm. so the main problem that people get is they 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 see other people and see that they have started a year back mm. a week back a month back and they are better than us mm. the problem is that we don't see that we need to start correct if we don't start we are never going to reach so that's the first thing that i would say that we need to start whenever right. we feel like we have to we need to mm. uh, second is it's very important to make sure during this uh, at least this placement uh, weeks a month actually for people hmm. we need to have good people around us hmm. it's very important i have seen many people getting uh, bored down because there were people around them talking about things that's not going to be helpful for hmm. them and a toxic atmosphere never helps i was very lucky that my friends were there hmm. and uh, they took care of me when i was being impatient during interviews as well hmm. because you never know after technical round do you we have hr round or not right. do we have this round or not so they being there helps and i would just ask people to have a good lot loads of people around them hmm. third thing that i would like to tell is um uh, in getting impatient is very easy because uh, cgpa resumes you never know what's the shortlisting hmm. is based upon hmm. you are always in dilemma what's going to happen how is going to happen and then you dig deeper into it and then you get no result just a head that right. is all messed up right you just need to focus on process being process oriented is the only way that uh, mm. helps if we look upon goals at every company that comes up we would never be able to move ahead correct we need to build upon the process and get better every day that's the only way to correct. reach to a yeah. destination mm-hmm. and the last thing that i would tell is uh, having an open ear being a good listener helps so uh, we had an off air conversation about how you having an interview with Our alumni for Baker use helped me for my Baker U interview, and now I am giving one. Right. So it's a it's a circle, it's a cycle which helps. If you are good at listening, and if you are good at understanding what's needed for a mm. for a particular interview, just for that, learn that, unlearn that, learn that, unlearn that. But you being a good listener, for example, I had a friend of mine who got placed very early, uh, and he came to our room and told everything that he made a mistake. off hmm. so he didn't tell us what went right for him right uh, he came to our room and told all the mistakes that he made hmm. from those mistakes i made sure i don't repeat in my interviews and that always helped right so being a good, good listener helps so learning dsa having ml ai things done it's very important i know having good projects helps but having a good mindset during these few months is the only thing that is going to take you forward right so that's all i would Okay that was really great thank you so much for the suggestions and thank you again for sharing your experience i i am sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you thank you so much jishnu thank you all for watching this is jishnu i really hope you liked this video and you found it helpful if you did please do like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to get so many more interview experiences in the next few days so thank you again for watching